Saad Guru is internationally known for changing lives. His mission to spread spiritual, emotional, and physical well-being recently brought him here to New York, where he chatted with our very own Crystal Young. A spiritual leader to millions, Yogi Sadhguru offers tangible tools to live your most joyful life. He's the creator of the Ishha Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to cultivating human potential. Sadhguru has shared his perspective at Ivy League schools, international forums, and even the UN. I recently caught up with this author of more than 50 books. Our first topic, The Power of Meditation. I want to make sure Americans meditate so that the world will meditate. Mm -hmm. That's what is needed. Right. You know, it's funny. <laughs> right now, Americans freak. Everybody's freaking. Americans tear their pants. Everybody's tearing their pants. Okay. Americans get drunk. Everybody's getting drunk. Right. Americans are drugged out. Everybody's getting drugged out. If America meditates, the world will meditate. We should make it happen. Sadhguru sleeps just three hours a night and says, you can too. He believes rest is what the body needs, not sleep. How much downtime a particular machine needs depends on how stressed and damaged it is, isn't it? Wow, yes. If you learn to run this machine with least amount of stress, with least amount of friction, then you will see that the downtime that it needs is very minimal. Mm -hmm. But if you are running it with a hyper state all the time, then it will lead a lot of downtime. Yeah. So eight hours a day if you're sleeping, you're literally sleeping away one third of your life. He thinks most Americans eat food that is processed and not fresh, which means you can never expect your body to work efficiently. The design is fantastic, but what kind of material has gone into this? Is it uh, fruit? Is it vegetable? Is it meatballs? Is it... Uh... <laughs> Cheese doodles? <laughs> Gummy bears? <laughs> and all this. So depending on what type of material you put into it, accordingly it's at different levels of inertia. Okay. And there are other aspects, variety of aspects, what kind of air you breathe, what you drink, what you do, how you keep your mind, your thoughts, what kind of chemistry is going on right now. Right. As I said, you have a choice, either to make this into a great soup or a lousy soup. And finally, it sounds simple, but real happiness can only come from within. If somebody determines what happens around you, we call that slavery. But if somebody determines what should happen within you, is this not the worst form of slavery? Yes. Somebody can decide whether you are happy or unhappy. Absolutely. Somebody can decide whether you are tranquil or stressed. Isn't this the worst kind of slavery? It's mental. So tell me how many people on the planet are slaves? A lot. A lot. 95 percent. Yeah.